Discover the power of 10 frames for subtraction. Mastering subtraction can be hard. 10 frame subtraction tiles can help. With these easy to use materials, children make sense of subtraction. Children see how parts and holes fit together. They can model numbers without tedious trading and counting. They can see when to regroup and they can see why the solution makes sense. Let's see how. Watch this. Subtraction tiles are a great way to model word problems that compare two amounts. Let's try this example. Sam has seven bowls and five spoons. How many more bowls than spoons does Sam have? Let's start by comparing one to one. Model the bowls with a dot tile. Model the spoons with a dash tile. To match one spoon to each bowl, slide the cards one on top of the other. Now children can match one to one and see which bowls have no spoon. So there are two more bowls than spoons. With this model, children see that they can take away one bowl for each spoon. Seven bowls in all, take away five bowls with spoons, leaves two bowls. Seven take away five is two. Let's try another word problem. 31 children signed up for art class. 17 children signed up for the rock band. How many more children signed up for art class than for the rock band? Model the greater number with dot tiles. Model the lesser number with dash tiles. Match tiles one to one. How many more children signed up for art class than for the rock band? You can see that 14 dots are not dashed out. So 14 more children signed up for art than for the rock band. To make the connection to subtraction, write an equation. What is the difference between 31 and 17? Regroup to subtract the ones. 11 take away 7 is 4. Then subtract the tens. Two tens take away one ten leaves one ten. The difference is 14. With subtraction tiles, children can see how two numbers compare. They can see why we subtract to find the difference, and they make sense of regrouping. You can find this lesson and related worksheets at www.10framesystem.com.